Hey, it was Adam Votex, but now one here, and I'm back on some Mutt 15 with some Madden 15 Ultimate Team gameplay, and let's get right into it. If you guys have yet to check out the World's Empire, I really recommend you guys do. We are your gaming news source for your information, for your release dates, for anything you guys wanted to be. Check out the World's Empire. We pretty much put content up pretty much every day. If you guys don't got an account, it's free to join, and also, we are giving away Elite cards for the site, so be sure to check it out if you guys have not. Anyway, this is episode number two of Bad Luck Stories with Texas. Now, I was going to talk about the time I took a girl to the zoo because that story is pretty much funny and it's really depressing and you guys will judge you differently after you hear it. Then I also want to talk about the time I got arrested. I didn't get arrested. Wow. I really about the lot of you guys. I didn't get arrested. The time I ran from the cops three times and I probably could have got arrested if I got caught, but I didn't get caught because I'm fast. So that's the story I'm going to talk about today, but because I just remembered a couple stories from my childhood you guys might be interested in that pretty much symbolizes me having bad luck. And this one is earlier. This is when I was like in elementary school. This was when I was in Colorado attending Stratton Meadows. Like this is super, I was like, like in the fifth and third grade. This is old. So let's get right into these stories. So the first one was when I was in third grade, a associate or a guy that I thought I was friends with brought a screwdriver to school because you can't really have weapons on campus anything deemed to kill somebody is not a pencil or is considered a weapon and at that time i think columbine just happened so it was like a bad experience so schools are on alert about trying to find guns trying to find anything on them but they didn't find this guy's screwdriver until after he kind of snitched on himself he went to the playground and of course what do you guys do in the playground they mark their name into metal and that is the dumbest thing you guys can do like why are you gonna tell on yourself saying that uh laquan johnson was here like why are you gonna do that doesn't make any sense to me so he pretty much snitched on himself and he got caught with the screwdriver in his uh backpack because he got caught he got sent out of principal's office and of course they're gonna try to give him isd and call his parents he's gonna get in trouble the whole nine but for some reason this guy claimed that I gave him the screwdriver. He said that Texas gave me the screwdriver. Now, I kind of used my real name, but I had to go back and edit that part out. He said Texas gave me the screwdriver and he told me to mark my name on the playground set, which wasn't true. He was just lying so he didn't get in trouble. But because, I don't know, maybe was that a bad kid? Because for some reason, they believed him and I was the one that got in trouble. Now, I'm trying to think, like, what did I do before then that I could have gotten in trouble with? Because I didn't really do much. I was kind of. I was kind of I, I, was that a troublemaker i don't even know but they for, for some reason believed him now you guys can make that about race if you want to because i have i had no idea why they would take that guy's word over my word because my name wasn't even on the playground it, like it was just his name and he said it was my screwdriver and i got in trouble he also got in trouble as well for marketing for vandalism but i was one that got a stiffer penalty and because they called my parents and told them my parents didn't believe me. No, no, no. He's, he's lying. He doesn't want to get a whooping. He's lying. So I got my butt beat. I got whipped really bad that day. And I probably deserved it for something I did earlier, but not for that one. So that one kind of made me so salty. But that was a bad luck experience because I did nothing wrong that day. And also got punched because somebody lied about me. And that was the worst. And that was the day I remembered. I think after that day, I found the guy uh, after we got out of ISD and tackled him. Like, I was, <laughs> I just speared him and said, that's what you get. And, of course, he told me once again, saying that I tackled him <laughs> for telling on him. Or I tackled him for him telling on me. And, yeah, I got in more trouble and I got another whooping. After I got home, it was just a bad, like, it was just bad. Like, yo, like, I didn't do anything and I got in trouble for it. So, yeah, don't trust people, especially guys who are going to lie to you, especially in your face. Either way, so that's the first story. The second story is a little bit more, I don't want to say it might make you guys think of me differently, but just listen to what I'm saying and, and and judge fairly in the comment section below, right? I need you guys to be the armor because this is a story that I remember. It sticks out to me to this day because this is one of the crimes that I did not commit that I got accused of committing and the evidence was so like, overwhelmingly that like, a jury would have convicted me of like murder. Like it was bad, but I didn't do it. But because it, it, I'll, I'll go ahead and explain because you guys want to hear this story. Now, the second story was the time that I was in the fifth grade. I, I'm, I don't want to say just yet. The title probably already says it, but I was in the fifth grade. I was in the fifth grade. And this is the time that I accidentally hit a girl. Now, 
you say accidentally like like you didn't mean to like i i legit did not mean to hit her it was just like the worst set of events that took place to the point where it looked like i socked this chick in the face like repeatedly like it looked like i just got on the ground and started pummeling her which wasn't the case like her eye was all types of jacked and i didn't even do it i did not hit her in the face now i'll tell you the story so let's get right into it so pretty much being in the fifth grade it's the time where like you're starting to notice girls but you're not really like yo baby let me uh take you out to dinner like you notice them but you're not really still like, you're still into yourself still into your guy friends because again my phrasing is awful but you still yeah you don't really understand girls just that yet so apparently this girl liked me but because i didn't know that and i didn't know how to handle the information that i received um i was not really trying to like i wasn't talking to her i was pretty much just like avoiding her because she was very annoying now in retrospect going back and thinking about it yo like texas what are you doing like you should talk to that chick anyway she was annoying me she was annoying me she was annoying me every day like yo this was a daily occurrence i could not escape her wrath she would just come find me and just keep bugging me and bugging me and bugging me and bugging me to the point where it was getting on my last nerve and so like it was awful man it was awful and not really awful it's kind of nice now you think about it but either way so one day after school after school she kept bugging me she kept bugging me and then the way she would annoy me was she would say my name over and over again until i finally responded she would say all right my texas 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 until i finally said something and i remember this specifically because this is what happened so she said my name, Texas, Texas, Texas. I said, what? I turned around and she had this little thing on her wrist. It was like a generic Simon Says thing where, or like a bop it. Like it was like one of those generic things where it was like a, like a long purple tube. I'm gonna try to find a picture of it for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But she had this long thing on her wrist that probably weighed about 10 pounds. And I turned around, I caught that thing on my hand, said what? And because I caught that thing at the back of my hand, it turned up and it smacked this chick in the eye. Now she was the same grade as me, but she's a, she's a female, a lot smaller, a lot more frail. I hit this chick right in the eye, but I didn't hit her, her toy hit her, but because I hit the toy, it like had this momentum to the point where it caught her in the face. Like it, like it was awful damage. And I was immediately feeling so guilty because I knew what it looked like everybody on school saying texas punch this girl in the face like they were just screaming that i hit this girl in the face which was not the case and if you guys have ever gotten in trouble and you know that the trouble is gonna like news is gonna spread the next day but the night before like you just have the worst stomach pains of all time i got home and this is where i messed up right i should have told my parents that i accidentally hit this girl in the face but because i didn't tell my parents that night the next day when the school called and said yo your son's suspended he ain't coming to school today they said what happened he said he punched a girl in the face and she's claiming like she wasn't on my side she know i didn't hit her in the face but she she told the principal that i punched her in the face which was not the case but because i hid the information from my parents my parents beat my ass like i got destroyed drumsticks uh switches like, like it was just an awful experience i got out of the bathtub here comes the belt out of nowhere like it was awful and all of this could have been avoided if for one i had told my parents that i accidentally chris brown this chick or if the girl was very truthful with the principal and saying that he didn't mean to hit me which would have seemed more worse right i mean that was like some domestic violence battery type stuff but he said yo he didn't mean to hit me he hit the toy and the toy hit me because that would have gave me like i would have escaped on all troubles because it was so incidental but because of what, like, she looked like she had just gotten in a UFC fight and had no experience. And because of that, I got in trouble. My dad, Chris Brown, when I got home, like, he whooped my ass. And, and that is the reason why I have trust issues. <laughs> Y'all can just call me Drake, Texas. Like, <laughs> I got trust issues.